Um, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about so far in this class, we've talked about three different ways to solve a system. The first way we talked about Mallory was graphing. And then last class period, or two class periods ago, uh, so we talked about graphing. And these problems might be a little bit difficult to graph um, since we don't, first of all, they're not an x and y. And then we'd have to solve for y to graph them point. Um, then, Austin, the next thing we looked at was using substitution. And remember, the main point for substitution was um, finding a variable that had a 1 or a negative 1 as its coefficient. And in this case, we do have a negative 1 as a coefficient of n. So this one could be easily solved by using substitution. However, a lot of students, when I was going over substitution, said, can we find something easier rather than substitution? So I said, yeah, we can actually use elimination. Elimination is another technique that we can use rather than always doing substitution. So what to do for elimination is we, even, we need to get the coefficients to be, um, the absolute value of the coefficients to be the same. So if I look at the coefficients of m, do I have the same coefficients? No. That's a 2, that's a 3. If I look at the coefficients of n, are these two the same? No. So now remember, I wanted the absolute value to be the same. So we can do two different ways. We, we can either get these to be the same, which would be the low, least common multiple, or we could get these to be the same. And it'd be pretty easy to get these to be the same, because all I would have to do is multiply the top equation by what to get it to have a 2 in front? Well, if I'm, I'm sorry, I just kind of said my exact answer. But if I multiply this top equation by 2, everything by 2, I now obtain 4m minus 2n equals negative 2. Huh? No, this is the new this is the new method that we're talking about, sub uh, elimination. No, we did elimination. We did elimination last class period. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So in order to make it uh, the same absolute value for two n, you have to multiply by two. Yeah, you want to have the coefficients to be the same. Now there's two different ways to do it. If your coefficients are the same, but one's negative and one's positive, what you can do is add the equations up. So now once I have them the same. Negative, since I have 2 is in front of both of them, but one's negative and one's positive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them up. So by adding them up, I now receive 7m plus 0n equals 28, which those cancel out, right? Because 0 times anything is just n. So therefore, I have 7m equals 28 divided by 7 m equals 4. So just like substitution, remember when we did substitution, we plugged one equation into the other, and we found the, variable, we found the value of one variable? Once you find the value of one variable, you now have to plug it into one of your equations. It doesn't matter which one. Now elimination, I think, sometimes it's easier for some students to do the first step. But then it gets a little bit difficult because a substitution was nice because we already solved for one variable. So you just plugged it in, and you had your answer. But here, when I plug in a 4, I'll choose, Cody, which one do you want to do? Uh, the oh, you had a question? All right, we'll put it in the bottom. Yeah, what's your question? Um, well, you know how you see m equals 4? You go back and plug that into the original equation, not like the 4m minus 2. So it doesn't. It, either one of these would be, it'd work as well. Uh, I could do all four. Yeah, Cody. The reason why I times it by 2 is because the, notice how when I got negative 2n plus 2n, I went, I added them up, I got 0n, right? 0 times n is 0. Notice on my equation, now when I add the two equations up, I go from two equations to one equation. And by adding them up with the same coefficient, but one positive, one negative, I now don't have an n. Because you, you, know, you can solve a. What if both well, no, because that's negative. That's a negative 2. Uh, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Two. If they were both positive 2, what you could do is you could subtract the equations rather than add them. So you wouldn't even have to like, wait, if, if you already had like the coefficients matching or whatever, like in there, all you so would you have to do is like, wait, you did over the middle here. part. Yeah. Okay. Sorry? You're basically trying to get rid of that middle part. You're basically trying to get rid of a, and a variable, basically. Because if you guys remember, um, when solving systems, it takes two equations to solve for two variables. So if I have two equations, I mean, if I get this down to one variable, I can solve it with one equation, which I did. Then I just plug it in, and it doesn't matter which equation. You could even plug in this one. So I do 3 times my new m, which is 4, plus 2n <coughs> equals 30. Now we need to do a, a little bit of math around algebra 1. 
12 equals 12 equals 12 plus 2n equals 30 minus 12 2n equals 18 divided by 2 n equals 9 therefore your solution because 4 is the value of m m equals 4 so rather than saying 3 times m i'm saying 3 times 4 because 4 is equal to m because I want to find the value of n. If I plug in 4 in for m, I no longer have, I only have one variable. So we have to find n and m? Correct. So your solution is m equals 4 and n equals 9. Any last questions on this? Hold on. Hold up. Is that yes. the whole problem? That's it. There's no graphing? Okay. No graphing. Say if there's a, when you say that you need 